What's going on, y'all? So we're gonna be using this Zygarde Kyogre team again. We haven't actually lost with this team yet so far this season, which has been pretty interesting. Um, I mean, we've only played five matches with it, right? But I think this team, more than anything, just kind of excels at being able to stop your opponent from doing what they want to do, right? So, like, we have ways to set up Trip Room, we can set up Tailwind, we can eject button them on turn one. And so we make it really hard for our opponent to just get in the position that they probably want to get in in their end, in their uh, beginning game, right? <laughs> I don't uh, guarantee that we're just going to completely win every match with this team. In fact, I plan on using the team until we get one loss with the team. So, I mean, sure, if we lose the, you know, very first match in this video, I'm not just going to stop playing, right? Like, I'm going to try to film a whole video with it, but I'm saying, like, the only way I'm doing another video with this team is if we literally get another three win streak today. So, like, I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I do want to move on to something else, but obviously if we keep just winning with this team, I'm not going to stop, right? <laughs> So, um, we've talked about the team already quite a bit. We actually don't start Zygarde Comfy as much as I, I used to, I feel like. And we've been doing a lot more starting, like, Wims Kyogre, Wims Kartana, Wims Urshifu. We started Comfy Kyogre one game, and that went really well, actually. Um, we started Urshifu Kartana one game, and that went really well. So, there's, there's quite a bit of different things you can do ultimately super fun team and i look forward to giving her another goo so let's jump into it we should lose quite a bit of rank since we haven't played in like four days yep And if the ladder ends up being too, uh, there you go. I was going to say, if the ladder ends up being too sparse, we can always do things like play on showdown, but big yikles, that's a pikele. Um, let's see. I mean, I feel like, of course, I would like to just start Wims Urshi Fu Manchusis, right? Urshel Fu Manchusel. Um, I don't really know if that guarantees us much. We can, however, bring Zygus Guard in the back. Uh. This is just my general lead against Venusaur. <laughs> Groudon Venusaur. So basically what I'm going to do here is going to look really risky and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to call that they're going to Dynamax Venusaur because Dynamax Venusaur looks really good for them right now. So they might not Dynamax Venusaur, I think they should and in that case I want to do this. I'm just letting you guys know that in general, this is the type of play that I make in this case. Okay, that sucks. Ooh. 
boo. Well, we didn't do that correctly. Um, let's throw off a Wicked Baru and a Tailwind. So we got that, which is ultimately good. We're not right here. They might have weakness policy. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh god. It's so bad. I just don't want that at all. Um So we can sucker punch. Yeah, I mean, we pretty much just can't do anything. Let's think about this, because we're actually in a pretty bad position, because they can nuzzle us, right? Um... This is a really hard call. Cause I kind of want to Dynamax Zygarde, I'm not going to lie to you guys, like, I kind of want to Dynamax Zygarde and click Max Quake on Raichu. Um... Yikes, man. Oh, God. Oh, God, yeah, and we set off their weakness policy. Okay. <laughs> okay, keep it together. Remem we're remembering things. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I'm scooping. I am scooping. If I had max guard, that would have gone a lot better. We just, uh... We just didn't have that one go our way. <laughs> 
What I could have done alternatively is I could have protected Urshifu on turn one and gone for the eject button. Um, I think that would have been the one thing that would have changed things a little bit, but it probably wouldn't have changed things enough for us to win. Pretty much, I think once we set off their weakness policy, we were just like, like this isn't going well. <laughs> Uh, this is scary. Because this team has Trick Room and it also has Fast, right? Um, can I start Wim's Kyogre? I mean, like, it doesn't really feel like it. Because they should have a, uh... They should have a... Prankster Thunderous. So I kind of want to try starting Wim's Kyogre. And I might have to switch out Kyogre into Zygarde on turn 1. And then we just have to choose our option of back Pokemon. Being Urshus, Fu Manchu, or Kartana. I don't really think either one is perfect here. Um, I think Kartana is a better Dynamax. Let's try. I think Kartana has a lot of problems in this matchup, but I think they both do, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> Should I just Dynamax and like avoid locking into it? I could have just Water Spout, and I think that would have been technically a better play because of the damage, right? But I was just kind of afraid that, uh... You just don't know what they do. Like, if they double target the wings here, me just clicking Water Spout, it would have been a, an amazing play. But we'll really have to see. So they do, right? So, so technically, yes, we could have just not Dynamaxed. Um, ooh, yes, yes, we absolutely could have not Dynamaxed. That would have hurt them very bad. I actually really don't like that. Um... Yeah, they don't have Sash. Man, if I had just not Dynamaxed, that would have been nuts. They bring out P2. You don't want to have Power Construct P2? What are you doing, my guy? Um, let's just do that. 
and let's just do this. Hopefully they target Zygarde. Dope. Get some fat damage. A thousand arrows then. This is going to be interesting. So I think we made a really good play there. We're gonna have to see how things pan out. Um, we're only at minus one. So technically, Thousand Arrows and Origin Pulse should be okay. They do go for the Oblivion Wing, which is not amazing. Because I actually could have clicked Water Spout. Oh, we missed. No. Okay. Okay, that's good. No, I, I'm fine with that. Mr. Stonks comes out to play. Okay. Well, I don't know how to feel about that. We eat that Thunderbolt. Ooh, they move first. We survive. Where's my leftovers? Don't I have left? Oh, no, I have a weakness policy. Okay, well... They have to set Trick Room this turn. If they don't, they should lose. Oh, wait, but that's bad. Live? Nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
So at this point, just the single target water spout plus the sacred sword should get us this. So, I mean, there's literally no way it doesn't. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty rough game, let's be honest, but it, it worked. We did what we had to do, you know? Here we go. Here we go! Let's start wins. Let's start... Arceus the Fu Manchu. I think the problem is, right, is like... You want to bring Kartana and Zygarde versus this team, right? So, like, versus this team, you want to literally just not even bring Kyogre. But, how do you just not bring Kyogre? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying. So, we'll try that, you know? And if we lose, it's fine. You know? This is the last round of matches with this video no matter what and they start Zacian the boy and they start my mains okay so this is actually a case where we need to be really careful um But I think if I call what they're going to do correctly, we should win. So we get the switch switcheroo sucker punch. If they have assault vest, we just lose right away. If they double target Urshifu because they know Urshifu is a huge threat, we win. What I would expect them to do right is possibly go after Whimsicott. I don't really know how you don't go after Whimsicott. Um... Dang it. Okay, we should lose. Yeah, that's good. Um... So what's the best case scenario? We bring out Kartana next. And we get a max airstream. Yeah, that's, that's what it has to be. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That's bad. If they have a Swords Dance substitute Zacian, I'm literally screwed. Let's try to do that, and let's protect the Urshi. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Yeah, you see? You see how I just don't want you to do that, my guy? Like... Nah, they should be able to win this, though, because they just, they have the speed control, basically. Like, I'm going to try to break the sash, or I'm going to break the sub. On this Yadidai Mingus here. Okay, no, that's that's good. I'm I'm good with that. Yeah, I mean, if we set off their Defiant, that's not good for me, right? But like, I am fine with that.
if you ask me, they need to start dealing with the... Uh... <laughs> they gotta start dealing with my whims before it starts knocking things out. Because this Moonblast is about to take out their thunder. So, uh, you know, just think about that, my guy. You gonna switch out Thunderous or you gonna lose Thunderous? Cause it's going. That's not the play. That ain't the play, my guy. We're gonna Moonblast this Thunderous. We're gonna get the KO. Yep, and then we're just gonna close combat. We're gonna close Wombat. We're gonna be a Wombat that's close. All right, Mr. Close Wombat, what do you got for me? Yep, I get that. Totally get that, my guy. Like you're, just, you're not fooling anyone here. I, I, I get it. Like you know what I'm saying. But I also know what I need to do. So what we do, what we root do doodly doot. Is we max airstream the myth and we protect. Now this, I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Because I think they should probably play rough. Like, nice. I'm gonna make a really hard play here. All right, we sh we might lose. If I can KO Zossi and we should win. Okay, okay, we win.
this was scary. Because they bring out Rilo Rilioso Bangles and Dangles. Um, we didn't actually give them a chance to attack with Zacian, which is what ultimately wins us this game. Um, and we do need to actually, like, guarantee this, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, my man's strong. Man. You gotta give it. Man. We we know what we're doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't think a mega grassy glide gets this KO. You know what I mean? Excuse me. So yeah, I mean, go for a mega uber crit. Like, I just don't think it wins you the game, my guy. Like, I just don't. Doink. <laughs> Oh man, Rillaboom is so bad against Kartana. <laughs> and that guy was number 46 in the world, so like, I'm just saying. Maybe they'll let us see their team if we're lucky. No, it's alright, we'll go back up to like two or 300. Yeah, 300. That's fine. Um, hey, I mean, it was a good round of matches. You know, that, that first team was really scary. Um, it's always fun to lose to a Cinderace team, seeing as I brought Cinderace to the NAIC. So, shoutouts to the boy, of course. And uh, shoutouts to Weakness Policy Eveltal, too. Because, you know, I, I like Weakness Policy Eveltal, so. Cool. Yeah, great, great set of matches. You know, you can't win them all, but... I am glad that we were able to find a semi-stable win con for that last one, you know, because we we pressured our opponent enough into not being able to do anything that they had to just switch, switch. The, the second substitute made no sense to me. I think that's what really lost them the game. Like, I broke their substitute with close combat. The next turn, they just set substitute up again. Like, my guy, I'm literally just going to break it again right away and you're not killing me like instead use the fact that Zacian is the fastest thing on the field and I don't have Tailwind anymore because you switcheroo the eject button like you know what I mean like they had they had assault vest <laughs> switcheroo the eject button we we switcheroo them the eject button we took the assault vest we didn't want the assault vest I was afraid of the assault vest but we took it and we still won, so you know what I mean? I'm just saying. Good good set of matches. Hope y'all enjoyed. And uh, you know, we'll see what team we decide to use next, right? Um Okay.